Hi guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another vlog on the channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some fall fashion inspiration. One of my favorite trends from last winter was the shackets. And I'm so glad that they're coming back for the fall time because I recently bought a couple shackets. And I thought for this week's video, it'd be really fun to show you guys like how I style my shackets. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get on into some some fall fashion inspiration. Okay, so I'm going to be styling these two shackets today. We got two different vibes going on. This is the first one that I bought last year. This is from Misguided. It is this pretty pink plaid shacket. It's actually very like wool material. Um, so it's a lot heavier than normal shackets because the shacket is a shirt jacket. So some of them can be a lot thicker. Some of them can be a lot thinner. This is very thick. Um, definitely will carry this on into the winter time as well. But it is pink as some gray, dark pink, and white plaid patterning. And then it has these little buttons too. But I also have this leather shacket too. I just got this one from Amazon. I have been wanting to get some leather pieces for the fall time because that's like really in right now. I thought a leather shacket would be perfect. So it's a little wrinkled right now. Don't like mind that. But it's this faux leather. Um, it has some silver buttons on it. Very basic shacket. I've worn it out a couple times and I absolutely love it. But this is definitely on the thinner side. And the inside is very soft as well. So this is definitely a lighter material compared to this one. So I thought it would be really cool to style these two. Have two different vibes with it. This is more girly. This is more edgy. Um, so I'm gonna first style with this pink shacket. Okay, so here's what it looks like on. Super oversized, super comfy. I really like it. I'm wearing a tank top with it right now because I wanted a cropped shirt. However, I don't have a cropped t-shirt. Um, or long sleeve, but I would definitely wear it with this because this kind of has some itchy material inside. So it's not the most comfortable, but it looks super comfortable. I have a very minimal style. So because this has a lot of pattern on it, I'm going to pair it with more basic pieces. So you got your average white crop and denim jeans. This is from Amazon and then the jeans are also from Misguided with the shacket. So um, I absolutely love these jeans because um, they're high-waisted. They're kind of like a mom jean pair, so sizing down to get it cinched at the waist. Super, super cute. Let the shacket live its moment with this basic outfit. This is definitely something I've worn before. And then also when it's like colder out or if you don't want to show your midriff, then is that what it's called? Am I being fancy? Then you just button it up. And it's super cute. I would pair it with like some sneakers or booties. I don't have shoes upstairs because there's carpet and I don't want my carpet to get dirty. I feel like this is a super cute outfit. Um, the next one, we're going to warm it up a little bit. So instead of the white, we're going to add some cream to it. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, I think this is one of my favorite ways to style the shacket. How cute is this outfit? So... The jeans are still the same, but I paired it with this turtleneck cream sweater from H&M. This was in the clearance when I got it, so I'm not sure if they still have it anymore. And then on the sleeves, it has the little buttons on it. I will do my best to link down a cream sweater below, something similar, but I think this is such a cute way to style this. I definitely see myself wearing this for like the winter time, maybe even Thanksgiving, question mark, but... I'm just, it is just so cute. I love turtleneck top, so I definitely need to get more for the fall and winter time, but I just tucked the front up. The cream definitely makes it better than the white shirt um, by far, even like with the layering with the cozy factor. I wonder if I add gold necklaces. Give me one second. If I add a gold necklace to the mix. What if we just like, it's all right. I think it's all right. Okay, not really my style, but I don't even think you need to like accessorize that much. I could definitely, again, see myself wearing this for like the holidays or something. I could totally do like a long sleeve turtleneck bodysuit with this too if I didn't want it to make it 
as warm as like the sweater and the jacket. I could see myself pairing this again with sneakers or booties. I feel like you could do that with any of these outfits. That's just my go-to is sneakers or boots. So just depends if you want to keep it casual or keep it fancy. Um, but I have one more outfit to show you guys with the jacket. So one second. Okay. This is definitely the comfiest one of them all. So I paired this last outfit with this Adidas crew neck sweatshirt, um, obviously from Adidas. And then I paired it with these black joggers from Misguided. I definitely could see myself wearing this on an everyday basis because I'm always wearing sweatshirts and joggers. And then if I'm going out, I just throw on this cute jacket on top. So that is it with this pink jacket. Now let's go on into some pieces with the black leather jacket. Okay, so this is actually how I recently styled the jacket out. Um, I couldn't show the white tank top without showing the black tank top. So this one is from Amazon. And then I'm pairing it with these Levi 501 jeans. They're not like the mom jeans that I showed earlier. And then my leather jacket is from Amazon. This is actually a really good price and I struggled to find a faux leather jacket on Amazon for a reasonable price. So I'll link it down below. This is a very casual way to wear my jacket and I wore them with white sneakers. So very casual, really love the vibe. It's super airy and flowy. So um, this is great for a transitional summer to fall or if your fall uh, weather is a little warmer, this is perfect. And the inside of the jacket is actually a softer material. So it's not leather, it's not gonna stick on you. So you can actually wear it out and like raise your hand and stuff without the leather sticking on you. That's kind of a concern that I had, I was like, how is this gonna work? Just like the leather pants. I'm like really hesitant on getting leather pants because of that reason. So yeah, this is a very basic, casual style of the jacket. I'm gonna show you the second one. I was kind of thinking for this outfit, how would I pair my leather jacket? Cause I used to wear my leather jacket all the time. Um, but I like the jacket vibe with this because it covers my butt and I'm wearing leggings. So that's great. So I got this cute cream mock neck sweater. This is actually from Target. A lot of these pieces you could probably find in my past haul videos, by the way. Um, but I like this, this cozy look of it. This kind of like represents my Pinterest fall vibe. It's just the cream neutrals with leather. I also have my black nails on. So this is such a vibe. And then I just got some leggings on underneath. These are from Amazon. This jacket's low key giving me like raincoat vibes because it's like super glossy but I would definitely wear this with booties um I do have like cream converse and they're low tops that I could definitely wear to complement the cream sweater but I kind of like the idea of like booties or like combat boots with this one now for this last outfit it's kind of like a little like bonus one I want to try on a hoodie with this so um it's gonna be all black outfit which I'm totally for so I'll be right back with that one the hoodie is on as you see, I'm in an all black outfit. I think the leather jacket will look cute because it's not only monochromatic, but it's glossy too. So it adds like some sort of texture. Thoughts on this? I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but it's just like literally black on black on black. And then maybe I would wear like some leather boots. I don't know. I'm not like a huge fan of it. I think if I had some sort of like pattern on my hoodie, I think it would be different if it had like some color on it but like i'm not opposed to it like maybe i could switch it out for like a different color of hoodie because i'm all for like the detail right here you see like the the string and the buttons and the collar like i'm all for that but just all black i'm not sure i'm like low-key sweating so i'm gonna take off this jacket but I hope you guys enjoyed this little fashion video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know because I kind of want to do more like, I don't know, I feel like I do a lot of vlogs and that's like the whole point of this channel, but I want to branch out and do like 
lifestyle and fashion videos so if you guys want more fashion videos let me know I definitely will be doing hauls like 1000% but these styling videos are kind of out of my comfort zone if you want to see more of my face don't forget to follow my social medias I post on my Instagram all the time so that will be linked down below along with everything else I mentioned so if you're interested in getting any of these pieces I will do my best to link all of them down below but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video next week. Bye!